Yes, indeed. Soto carries his back. Fire that bat, Yachty. That's about as good as you're going to get. So here we go again with another break. Hopefully, though, there's going to be baseball cards in this one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my last video. Um, I actually had some updates about my lunchbox. If you want to know anything about it, check it out. Otherwise, uh, let's dive into this 1991 Junk Wax baseball card upper deck box. As you can see, we have the upper deck logo here on the cellophane. So we know that it came from the factory, which is uh, which is a good thing to look for. Again, these boxes uh, you can probably get for ten bucks anywhere, pretty easy. I've had this for a little bit, and uh, so let's check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and start by uh, ripping this off here. All right, so what we're looking for are just very uh, pretty rare cards. There's uh, the Nolan Ryan set I believe um, and there's like a couple of autographs that you can possibly get but they're pretty rare all right this is a good feeling right here I like opening up a brand new box and seeing all these packs so let's just get to it I'm gonna set that over there so you know I'm not tampering with it and here we go an upper deck, you know, was a lot of people's favorites, but it was certainly mine. Um, I love the foil wrapper. They were so easy to, to open, um, which was different because uh, Donruss and Fleer and Tops, I believe, all had, like, wax. Glenn Braggs, I'm going to try to get you some history on some of these guys. Billy Ripken, Cal's little brother. Got all these here. Ooh, we got a Baseball Heroes card. Nolan Ryan. That's good. This is the set that we're looking for with uh, very limited autographs. I'm going to put that to the side. Ooh, look at that. That's one of the sought-after Nolan Ryan cards in this set. If there are any sought-out, I'd have to say that's probably one of them. Lonnie Smith... Ramon Martinez, Pedro Martinez is big brother. Oh, let's try a take two there. Maybe. No, we don't do take twos here. None of this is ever cut. <clears throat> Here's Ramon Martinez. Pedro Martinez is his little brother. Uh, Ramon was a promising pitcher for the Dodgers, just like Pedro was. And, uh,. His career just didn't pan out like it should have. There it is. There's Ramon again. Pedro Martinez was actually my very, very first autograph that I ever got in person. Um, I live in Albuquerque, and uh, the Dodgers minor league AAA team was the Dukes for the longest time here, Albuquerque Dukes. And both Ramon and Pedro played for the Dukes at one time. Um, but Pedro was a crazy, huge, top prospect. Everybody knew how good he was. And all I had was a ballpoint pen. I went with some friends. I didn't know how to get autographs. And uh, got him to autograph a minor league card. He's on the San Antonio Missions. And um, that's my story. Nothing real good in this pack. So all that to say, if uh, if I would have gotten the uh, my Pedro card autographed with a real Sharpie, that's probably my most valuable autograph that I've ever gotten. Will Cordero. Nice. We had a uh, Barry Bonds card here when he was on the Pirates. That's before he started juicing. So that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll set that to the side. Kind of a novice still at this YouTube thing. So thanks for uh, sticking with me. It's fun. I enjoy it. 
but we're learning together here. Fernando, that's a cool card. Upper Deck started doing cool cards like this. Um, and uh, they're kind of just well sought after just because they're fun to look at and a little bit sticky. Hey, Eric Karos, he, he came through uh, the Dukes team as well, I believe. We had like five rookie, rookie of the years in a row or something like that come through um, for the Dodgers. Eric Karros and Todd Hollinsworth, Raul Mondesi. Um, so it was Mike Piazza came through the Dukes. Um, I never got his autograph because I didn't know who he was. Um, but I deeply regret it. Steve Bouchelle. Gaylord Perry, that's a cool card. I don't know that I've seen any of these. This is a parallel, it looks like. That's cool. Okay, Lord Perry, I'm going to put that to the side. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. Um, might be worth a little more than a common, but probably nothing too spectacular. Again, please don't comment on my manicure. Jose Canseco. Nice. Todd Van Poppel, he was a huge prospect back in the day. I remember getting so excited to find a Todd Van Poppel card. And then he just kind of fizzled out. I don't remember his career going very far. So we will see what comes of the rest of these. So some of the cards we're looking for are the Michael Jordan baseball card, the very first one that he had, and then um, Chipper Jones has a rookie card in here. But uh, like I said, most of these, Bob Melvin, he's a coach right now, doing very well. He's a good coach. Carney Lansford. I believe Carney Lansford was in a movie <clears throat> as well. Was he in uh, Rookie of the Year or something like that? As the big, the big guy that uh, hits all the home runs. I think so. If he's not, then I'm going to cut this part out of the out of the video. I hope you all are having as much fun as I am. This is actually really fun for me. I know it doesn't seem very exciting. Um, here's Mark McGuire. That's before he, well, who knows, but it's before he started roiding up as well. Cool. Alrighty. John Farrell. He was a coach as well. Lance Parrish. Another Billy Ripken. Vince Coleman. Benito. Greg Cateret. Greg Olson. Greg Olson broke his leg in a home plate collision. It was pretty nasty. And that's begin the start of the, the rule changes to where you can't charge charge the plate. Disaster strike. of being blown out by the Astros in Atlanta. Catcher Greg Olson was crushed in a home plate collision with Ken Caminiti, suffering torn ligaments and a broken bone in his ankle. Out for the season, perhaps more. I was a big Braves fan growing up because the only channels with baseball I got were Chicago, WGN, and TBS in Atlanta. So I became a big Braves fan, big Dave Justice fan, just like a lot of people. Um, Jim Abbott that's awesome 
showing him bunt. I don't remember ever seeing this card. I don't know that I have this card. I've never really looked through the 91 upper deck uh, set, but um, Jim Abbott back there, Mike Sosha, he's an awesome coach for the Angels for a long time. Um, Jim Abbott only has one hand. Royce Clayton, he was a huge top prospect. I have this card autographed. I remember paying somebody, I think, um, in high school who had a friend who knew him, and so I paid him for that card autographed. I want to look at this Jim Abbott because uh, if you look real close, he only has one hand, and he was a pitcher, and he was just incredible. And he threw a new no, no hitter uh, at one time. I think he was on, on the Yankees. If any of this is wrong, I'll probably cut this out of this, the video too, but um, he's just an incredible dude. Um, and he was well sought after. He was like a high prospect. And um, I loved finding Jim Abbott baseball cards. Dennis Eckersley. Jose Okendo, beautiful. All right, we're about a third of the way through. My back is burning, this is quite a workout, you know? Don't let anyone tell you that this isn't exercise, because it is. Mike Benjamin, good man. He's signing autographs, what a good guy. Dickie Tone, Fred McGriff, speaking of the Braves, I loved Fred McGriff, he was a great addition to our Braves, I'm going to put that to the side, um, he's a borderline all-star, or a Hall of Famer, and uh, just has never made it, because he's just like right on the edge, he's like under 500 homers, which 500 is kind of the magic number, um, but he was so good. I just remember, like, every time he'd get up to bat, I just felt good. Like, something good was always going to happen. So Pedro Martinez's uh, rookie card is in this set, but it's in the high series. So we won't be seeing that today. So. I want to have a poll find out what your guys' opinion is, but I'd love to know what you guys want to see on this channel. We can do all kinds of stuff, guys. Um, I have a ton of relic cards that I've bought in lots over the years, and uh, there are a lot that uh, I just don't know much about. There's Robin Ventura. He's an amazing player for the White Sox sporting the old the old timer uniforms for the for the White Sox let's see Bernard Gilkey Scott Cooper looks like our best cards so far I've been at the very top first couple of first couple of packs like I said this is fun for me though John Smoltz wonderful I love John Smoltz he's such a great pitcher and he's a great commentator right now um, I just love hearing his anal analysis in baseball he's just so smart he has such a a good mind. There we go. Henry Rodriguez. I loved, loved, loved Henry Rodriguez. I got so many of his autographs. And he was a huge, high top prospect as well. I stopped collecting, stopped getting autographs around 95, 96, something like that. It's when I got out of high school. And uh, it just wasn't a part of my life anymore. And so a lot of these players... I kind of heard about in minor leagues 
and then I didn't really know what their career turned out to be. Tom Gordon was D. Gordon's dad. Daryl, Daryl Strawberry. Sorry I'm talking about the Dukes all the time, but Daryl Strawberry came down on rehab for a unspoken problem that he had. He came down to the Dukes. There's another Mark McGuire. And I remember watching him during batting practice, and it was one of the coolest things of all time. Chuck Knobloch. I think this is his rookie card. Yep. But nothing special about the markings on this. Chuck, no Chuck Knobloch was awesome. I still love him. He's so great. There we go. Is that Gary Gaetti? Um, but Daryl Strawberry came down, and uh, like I remember, I brought a couple. I brought a friend's uh, rookie card, Daryl Strawberry rookie card, to get autographed. And just not expecting him to even acknowledge us. He got done with batting practice. And he started walking down, grabbing Sharpies. And he started signing one card. My hand was like trembling like this. handing, And I remember my sister was the one that got my friends. Um, there's Jim Abbott again. She got my friends... Uh, Daryl Strawberry rookie card. And look at this. Michael Jordan. That's right. This is a this is a short print card. It's not worth a ton, but you know, like I said, WGN and uh, TBS were the two big two big channels that we got. And so I was a big Chicago Bulls fan, just like a lot of people. And so I followed the Bulls and I followed the Braves, number 23 on both teams. Dave Justice and Michael Jordan, Carlos Baerga, Willie Banks, Greg Blosser. Sweet. So I think I was done with my Daryl Strawberry story, but that Michael Jordan card was a uh, little bit better story. So, kind of hijacked everything, but that's okay, guys. That's okay. That's what improv is all about. So, to say all that, since we didn't really get any, uh, like we can today, we, you know, we can see any. Glenn Allen Hill, he was the skipper for the isotopes, Albuquerque isotopes, which were the Dukes, and now they're the isotopes. Glenn Allen Hill, I got a lot of his autographs. Um... So I didn't follow, I couldn't follow a whole lot of other, Tom Glavin, another Brave, beautiful. Um, couldn't follow very many other teams, so I didn't know really any, any other players other than the fact that I followed them with baseball cards. And that was kind of probably a lot of people's stories that are my age. Um, that's how they kind of found out about players and new stats they turned over the baseball card they didn't we didn't have like MLB network and uh mlb tv where we just catch up on any old game you know it's like we just we had to kind of collect cards just check that out little lou brock and uh ricky henderson i've never had this card before either that's cool it's just a uh, part of the main set but that's a really cool thing a little commemorative, Ricky Henderson broke Lou Brock's record while he was still alive. And there's Ken Griffey Jr. There we are. I love it. This was not his rookie, not even his second year card, but any uh, any Ken Griffey card pretty much in most. Look at that. I got two in the same pack. How cool is that? Any Ken Griffey Jr. cards in any set. Um are still, you know, pretty elite, you know, um, just, you know, the ungraded, like mint condition, you know, maybe one to two bucks, you know, but that's still, that's still a lot for the junk, junk era. Um, there we go. 
some more rookies. So still no Chipper Jones. We got our Michael Jordan. Um, yeah, still looking for those uh, Nolan Ryan autos, you know. I'll take one, no biggie. Just come to daddy. All right. There's Junior's dad, in case you didn't know that. King Griffey Sr. Dale Murphy. And uh, King Griffey Jr.'s brother named Craig was a part of the Mariners minor league system for a little while. I don't think he ever made it to Craig Biggio there. Craig Biggio. Bid Biggio. Biggio, Mr. Hall of Famer. I should learn how to should learn how to say it since he's in the Hall of Fame, but maybe later. Um, but Craig Griffey was uh, in the. That's cool. It's kind of the the header card. Um, he's in the Mariners minor league system, so all three, King Griffey Senior, Junior, and Craig Griffey were all three on the same uh, in the same system at the same time. And Craig Griffey, I think, just uh, was in the shadow of his brother. Ken Griffey was just so good. There was no way to measure up. and He never made it to the majors, I don't believe. Um, but it's a cool story. David Cohn. Beautiful Mr. Frank. Thomas. I love this card. This is a great card. Just him sitting on the bench, but like, just look at that determination. Like, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you big. Maybe that's where that name came from. I don't know. Mr. Joe Carter for the Padres, another Fernando. It's a cool card, again. Also a cool card when I got it before. And it hasn't lost its coolness, so. Let's see, Barry Jones. Brett Saberhagen. And I love these. Like, Upper Deck does, did some really cool things that weren't really done. I mean, they they had uh, those paintings of players, and it was just so cool. Like, there's, I don't know. There's just something really cool about Upper Deck that I've always loved. Except they uh, let people repack lunch boxes and put, put NFL cards in there. So, I'm not... Not bitter. Another King Griffey Senior. Senior. Ben McDonald. Here we go. Ben McDonald was awesome. Another number one prospect. High top prospect. And then he just kind of fizzled out. Mr. Dan Plesak. Love him on MLB Network. He's a, he's a silly guy. Let's see here. I'm just I'm trying to spare you guys of too many details. Here we go. Look at that. Wasn't I just mentioning Chipper Jones? Chipper Jones, I have a uninteresting story about him. It's more of a personal thing for me, so I won't bore you. Okay, maybe I will. Um, again with the Dukes, right? Um, we hosted the AAA minor league All Star game back in maybe 91 and Jim Tomei was there I had no idea who the heck he was so I didn't even give him the time of day but uh, Chipper Jones was there I really wanted his autograph and there was this fence around where he was at and um, he came over the fence and looked at everybody I had my baseball cards ready for him to sign he was like an 18 19 year old amazing rookie he was like he was like alex rodriguez was you know he was like this really young buck and uh he came by looked at everybody i had my cards basically touching his chest another jim abbott and he walks away omar Oliveras. there you go Nolan Ryan and then he becomes a Hall of Famer you know um, it was just 
it's tough. It's a tough life, but you know what? When you're when you're that famous and you have so many people coming after you, you know, it's hard because you stop for one. Now you got to stop for 50, you know, you may not have that kind of time. And that's rough. That's a rough life. I've learned a lot of uh, really tough lessons <laughs> getting autographs. Um, I'm not going to spoil them all here today. Mr. Roger Clemens. I've got a funny story about a lunchbox that had Roger Clemens on it, but I'm not going to belabor that story. Mr. Will Clark. Will Clark was just a good guy, even if he... I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I wasn't a big Giants fan, but I just liked Will Clark. I'm really into lefties, too. I don't know why. Left-handed batters just make me happy. And switch hitters, obviously, half the time make me happy. No, all the time they make me happy. But, uh, like, Francisco Lindor is one of my favorites right now. I like Bryce Harper. Pre-Philly, you know. He's okay as a Philly, but I loved him as a Nat. And uh, Dave Justice was my all-time favorite. But Will Clark was awesome. He was just so good. He had a nice, smooth swing. Um, he's just a good ball player. A very good guy, too. He's kind of a borderline Hall of Famer as well. I don't know that he'll make it in, but... Very good. Mr. Lonnie Smith. Steve Avery. Man. Braves had some amazing pitchers back there in the 90s. Kevin Mitchell was awesome. Um, the Braves had uh, Steve Avery, Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox, um, John Smoltz. And then uh, I remember Mark Woolers, the... Uh, the reliever, he was like the closer, and he he threw like 102 when nobody was throwing that hard. Now that's like a change-up for Aroldis Chapman, you know. I'm not a historian, so I'm sorry if any of this is getting mixed up. <clears throat> Another Frank Thomas coming up, Gary Sheffield. Liked Gary Sheffield a lot. There's Frankie. All right. We got about eight more packs to go. And I'm really hoping we get a uh, crazy Babe Ruth autograph or something to make this worthwhile. No. It's, uh, it's been fun. Another King Griffey Jr. There we go. That's the third, I believe. Those aren't bad. They're maybe 20 bucks uh, graded at a, a mint 10, which is that even worth sending away for? All right, we're running out, running out of packs. Let's see here. Steve Bouchel. He's a coach for AAA. Here he was within the, the last couple of years. Mark Lemke was awesome. He's a switch hitter. Just kind of a just a reliable glove. Another Nolan Ryan. There you go. Thanks for uh, sticking with me. Hope you're enjoying this. Look at that. The bashing years. Hmm. That's cool. <sighs> Edgar Martinez. There you go. He just got in the Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Well, Ricky, there we go. That's one of the cars I was talking about. That's a highly sought out card. Little Fergie Jenkins, another one. I think the other one I had was Fergie Jenkins, too. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll look here in a second. Matt Young. Now, a lot of these players might have, you know, might have been worth a little more. Oh, there we go. Old Dave Justice. Here's my guy. 
my guy, David Christopher Justice, graduated high school at 16, played for the Braves, played for the Yankees. I have a great story that I will talk about in another video about Dave Justice um, and Derek Jeter. Let's just call it as it is. There we go. There's another good autograph signer right there. Let's see what kind of pen. That's like a ballpoint pen. That might be me that is asking for that autograph because uh, I was an idiot and used ballpoint pens. So sorry, America. That that's me. I'm the ignorant one at the ballpark, but I have a lot of fun. Eric Anthony. I used to like Eric Anthony a lot. He came through uh, as one of the opposing teams for the Dukes as well. Robin Yount. There we go, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams was a good player. This is rookie card. There we go, Dave Martinez. He's a, uh, he's a coach for the world champion Nats, Scott Leas. But look at that. He's signing that. Looks like a ballpoint pen. I don't know. It could be a Sharpie. Who's to say? Who is to say? But anyway, I like seeing those cards of guys signing autographs. It just makes me happy. Vince Coleman. Here we go. Mr. Nolan Ryan for the Angels. It's beautiful. I always uh, wonder, there's a lot of top 10 lists for pitchers, and I don't see Nolan, like, number one very often, or even even on the very top five. All right, guys, this is it. This is the end of the box. Let's hope we get a Mickey Mantle autograph or a Bat Redemption or something cool. Wally Joyner. Scott Gurrell. So I'm going to look, I'm going to kind of make a point to uh, find the very last card that I open up in every video. And I'm going to do some research on the guy. And I'm going to come up with some, some nuggets, if there are any. Ozzy Smith, there we go, the Wizard of Oz. Let's see, so which one's the last? I would say Jeff Juden is. And then there's Sandy Alomar Jr. But Jeff Juden. Um, so I'm going to come up with some cool facts about Jeff Juden, and I'll have them for you next video. But that's it. Let's, uh, let's see what gems we got out of here. Not, not too bad of a, a stack that I put to the side. We're just going to look through these. Ozzie Smith. There's the Nolan. Bernie Williams. Dave Justice. Little Fergie Jenkins. Ricky. There we go. There we go. The Roiding Years. I mean, the Bashing Years. Nolan Ryan. Ken Griffey Jr. Another Nolan right there for the Astros. That's a cool shot, too. I like I like that. Little Frank, Big Hurt Thomas, Chipper, right there. Fernando Valenzuela, Little Frank Thomas again, Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Jr. in the same pack. Lou Brock, Ricky Henderson. I don't know if that one, if they get, um, if they've got a few of those signed, that's a possibility. Tom Glavin, and there's the MJ, it's cool. Chucky Knobloch, John Smoltz, Fred McGriff, Mark McGuire. Nope, oh, Gaylord Perry, that's who it was, not Fergie Jenkins. Gaylord Perry, Fernando Valenzuela again. Well, Barry Bonds, Scott Coolby put to the side because he uh, was a manager, but I don't think he is anymore. Nolan Ryan, and Nolan Ryan, baseball heroes. You know what, this is fun. This was fun, and I appreciate you guys watching. Um... Make sure to uh, 
vote in the poll what uh what things you want to see next and uh, feel free to comment uh, in the comment section tell me what you would like to see we will definitely see you next time so thanks again for watching